All right, so this recording is going to be a little bit ghetto because I have the AC running and Christian playing video games and usually everything's silent when I record, but I'm like, meh, I really just want to get this recorded now and I don't want to wait till Christian goes to bed. So, a little bit of history, sort of the story behind this picture. So this was a gift, well, part of a gift for my friend's wedding. I actually just got back. I was away for a week and I went to my friend's wedding and I went to visit a bunch of family. And this was one of the gifts. She also got something else, but I decided I wanted to paint her something. And unfortunately, I didn't have time to paint something sooner or to paint something larger. I wasn't planning originally to paint her anything, so that's why this was kind of last minute. I was like, oh, I want to paint her something, but it had to be small so that I could get it done in one night, and I was actually working on this the night before I left. I had to leave Thursday morning at 5.30 a.m., and I finished this at 3.30 a.m., so, and I slept for one hour, and then I had to get up and leave, <laughs> so that really sucked, but I got the picture done. And I'm actually not good with acrylics at all because I never paint in acrylics. I think this is probably my first actual acrylic painting. The only time, other times I've used acrylics is to maybe, maybe use the white. I know I use the white on a poster or something. And, oh yeah, I made this huge sign for student housing. It was a White Walker sign from Game of Thrones. I used a bunch of my white paint for that, I think. And uh, I think that was kind of all I did other than painting on polymer clay charms with this paint. And this paint is called Chroma, K-R-O-M-A, Chroma Artist Acrylics. And this is actually made here in Vancouver. And the, sh the store is in Grantonville Island or on Grantonville Island. So if you're a local, that's where you can get it. I don't know if they sell it in other art stores, but passed by that store once and I was like hey that's where they are because I actually got these through my school I went to school for 3d animation and um, I needed this for my color theory class but I actually took my color theory class online and we didn't need paints everything was done in illustrator it was dumb it was dumb the online classes sucked that's a whole different story but when I went to school they gave you this starter kit and it came with these acrylics and I didn't need them. I had to buy them, but I didn't need them for my classes. It was kind of dumb. But now I have these really nice acrylics, so it kind of works out in the end. And I like how on the barrels the colors are swatched, and it also tells you the light fastness rating for that specific color. So that's pretty cool. And um, hmm, this video is pretty much a video of what not to do with acrylics, because <laughs> I thought, okay, I'm going to start with a background, because usually that's what you do. So I started with those purple flowers, but those are not the background element. That's the mid-ground. And so I kind of screwed up. <laughs> I had to clean up the edges, because as you can see, I'm filling in the dark stuff, and then it's getting on top of the purple, and then the edges of the purple look dumb. I should have done the dark stuff, then the purple and the grass and stuff. But. I don't know. It was a bit annoying, and I'm probably not using the right brushes and things. I'm just using stuff I already had at home, but uh, eh, it's all right. And if I could do something differently, I probably would not make the background quite as dark. Or what I think would look nice is if I made the butterfly white instead of blue, or maybe just incorporated more white into the piece in general because this is going into a picture frame and the picture frame is white. And after it was all done and I put it in the frame, I just felt like it didn't really suit the frame. And obviously I didn't have time to make anything new because I did it so last minute. And so I was just kind of kicking myself. But what was done was done. Plus the butterfly is supposed to be more on the cyan side, not blue. But I couldn't really figure out how to do cyan. I could have mixed a bit of green in there, but the color is just not light enough. I wanted the butterfly to be really bright but I feel like the colors are too dark. And when I add white, it just turns into a baby blue. I want like that bright cyan blue. And so, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have a lot to learn when it comes to paint still, so yeah. And I'm painting on watercolor paper. Yeah, it's just some Canson watercolor paper that I had lying around. I had a scrap piece of it and I was like, hey, that's big enough. Let's do that. So 
that's what I did. And I measured around the opening of the frame to get the shape. And that's pretty much it. And I actually really enjoyed myself doing this. It's, it's a challenge in a way. I feel like I really like how the flower effect came out because those are meant to be hydrangeas, I think. I think that's what I meant them to be, I forget. <laughs> I don't know flower names, but it's meant to be not individual flowers, but just like, you, I'm just painting the cluster. I'm not painting the individual flowers that make up the bunches. And also I didn't want to do too much detail to take away from the butterfly as well. So I really like how you can mix and layer paints. It is extra work to get the color you want and um, you know, the colors aren't as vibrant as some of my Copic colors or digital colors, so it'll take me some getting used to. And see here, I'm trying to put this white edge down, but the background's dry, and I'm trying to wet it to blend it out, and it just was not working. So I don't really know if you can blend once it's already dry. I don't know. And one thing, I, I have a squirt bottle, so I could have squirt the picture to wet it a little bit, but I didn't want to do that and risk wrecking it. I, st I, need, I have a lot of experimentation to do, but I didn't want to risk ruining this picture because it's for my friend's gift but it's also dumb of me to use acrylics when I hadn't used acrylics before but I wanted that specific look for the present so and here I'm using some Copic to brighten it up a bit and give it a bit of that cyan look but it didn't help a ton and there it is in the frame so that's my first attempt at doing acrylic paintings so You'll see more from me and, and bigger stuff on canvas, and I, I have a lot of practice to do. So, yeah, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next art video. This is just too much fun. I like really interesting hikes where there's good scenery and everything, and cool things to climb on, and interesting trails that aren't just flat. So, yeah, it's really fun. I want to fall this time because of you. <laughs> 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 nice. What I also like about today is it's not busy at all. 